It's about, uh, well, it's just before 4 a.m. in the morning. And I came down and I have triple checked my measurements on this uh, horse and rider. And the only thing I've got wrong is the, uh, the musk, his rear butt. Let me do this. Should be one head length in the measurement. Let me get that just right. There we go. Should be one head length from the point of his hip to his beginning of the tail and the end of the butt. And I've got that right. And it should be the same as wide. And I've got that right. What I'm lacking is in the musculature in his butt. So I'm going to stick with what I've got. I've double checked the length between the point of the shoulders and the tip of the uh, uh, hip bone of the horse. And it's on the button too. Um, the more I look at this thing, he doesn't look all that much bigger than the, what he should look. And uh, so I'm going to stick with what I got. I'm going to just rework this area. And uh, everything else seems to work out fine. I worked out the measurements when I worked out the proportions for the horse that he'd be riding on. And uh, I worked it out and kept on checking on it and kept on checking on it. So I'm going to stick with what I got so far. And I'm going to come back down later on today after I get a little more sleep. And uh, I'm going to work that out. Because I just don't, I mean, I, I did a lot of work on that horse's head. And it turned out so great. I kept banging on his ear. And uh, that's usual when you're doing the ear ahead of time. I like to do the ears last, but I did them long before last. All right. I'll see you guys later on. When I get about five hours more sleep, three hours just ain't enough. All right. Good night, everybody. <laughs> or good morning, everybody. And I'll see you in a few hours. All right, I've gone over this thing three times since last week to make sure that I am still within the parameters of a horse of the Mustang breed. They are small. There's a whole article, well, it's an old article, in our, a horse, horse, what was it, Western Horseman magazine? One of those magazines that I read a long time ago. I've got the article. I can't find it right now, but it said that they were small horses. What I was going by after I, last week was a more modern day, well-bred, well-fed horse. And you, these horses lived off of grass on the prairie. They didn't have grain. So basically, I was just overthinking things last week.
I made a tool out of a piece of square tubing. I bent and shaped the front part of it so that I can try something I have not tried before and do a kind of a texturing with it. Not sure this is going to work, but this is an idea I had. I thought I'd try it out. What I'm doing is I'm trying to strengthen the leg a little bit. Alright, I'm uh, going to have to call it quits. i got some friends here who stopped by to visit, and uh, I'll pick this up tomorrow. I'm liking the way the tail is coming out, and uh, I've got the hooves done on the back of the horse. I've got some work to do on uh, trying to figure out how to maybe have this foot just barely touching maybe a rock or something. But I'll have to work that out uh, in the next few days. I'm glad I stuck with this horse because once I started reworking, you know, actually finishing off the the hips and the rear legs, it uh, really does look a lot better. So I'm glad I don't have to make another horse because it would have taken a long time. All right, everybody. See you next time and uh, have a great night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.